Welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna be using keyframes in Final Cut Pro on the iPad to create a sliding text title. So here we are in Final Cut on iPad. And I'm gonna use this clip of, this is the Hungerford Bridge over the Thames here in London. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is get some text over this. So we're going to go up to this symbol in the top right here and tap that to open up the effects panel. Then we're going to choose titles and we're just going to drag this essential title over the top of that video clip. We're going to resize it so that it's the same length as the clip and then with the title clip highlighted, we're going to open the inspector. Tap text to edit the text. Let's write keyframes. And then we can just use our finger or the Apple Pencil to reposition the text to wherever we want it on the screen. Let's put it there. Okay, now we're gonna tap the back button inside that inspector. And we're gonna make sure that this position icon in the center is selected. Once we've done that, we can shut down the inspector and then we're going to open animate at the bottom here. Now you'll notice when we open animate, we get a timeline along the bottom there where we can add keyframes. Now this next part's really important. The little drop down menu here, we can open that up and make sure that we have position selected. Now we'll move the playhead along to where we want the text to end up and tap down here in the bottom right to add a keyframe. Now we're gonna move the playhead back to the beginning of the clip and just drag that text right the way over to the left. And you'll notice that Final Cut automatically adds another keyframe when we move that text. Okay, so that'll play through like this. So let's play that through again with the animate open so that you can see it moving between the keyframes. Okay, so it starts off on the first keyframe there where it's off the screen and then the second keyframe is where it's reached its final position. Now I mentioned the drop down menu where we chose position earlier. In here, you can use keyframes to affect any of these things here, the rotation, the crop, any of these parameters. So if you have any questions at all, ask me in the comments. I'd be really happy to answer anything. Thanks for watching. See you next time.